Very good afternoon, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well. And welcome to this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Tala speaking. So, following to my last weekly analysis video, I have mentioned that the pound, sorry, the Euro USD, uh, since the market was closed on this level, resistance level, that the market will continue to go down on this support here to create a support number two, and this will be the best level to start buying the Euro USD. And that is exactly what happened. The market went down here, and then buying the Euro USD was really good. I believe it has delivered 116 pips exactly, 116 pips of profit for those who have entered, and that was a really good signal. Now, what's the next move? Okay, now let's check the daily candles. So, looking at daily, we can see that the market is actually continuing its bullish momentum here, and we had here a resistance which has been breaking out from this level, and this resistance was previously also. A support so the expected movement now from the euro USD is to make a small retest on this previous resistance before it actually continue flying up hitting this previous resistance right here uh, let's check now the weekly candles just to be sure now weekly market or sorry weekly candle is somehow proving my uh, point because the next candle I believe from my experience it has to be green to hit this previous resistance right here so definitely it's going to be green candle we can expect for the euro usd to start rising again now the question is when should i start buying the euro usd now seeing this price action here on the four hour chart indicating that there will be there will be some pullback on this resistance level we can see that we had here resistance and the market is reversing right on it so the reversal will gonna happen actually on the next support which is right here so this is gonna be the level where we should actually start buying the euro USD. let me be accurate as much as possible is like that so the level 1.10074 is gonna be good level to start buying the euro USD. and let me tell you something expect it to go a little bit against you for about i don't know maybe about yeah 13 14 pips it's not really worth to mention it however uh, there is a chance for the euro USD to go a little bit down to hit this previous support level right here which was also a previous resistance and then it's going to continue its bullish momentum and let's say from this point here i'm expecting to gain about 88 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna make it and i believe yes definitely euro USD is going up now let's check the pound USD. the pound USD, however made a huge jump last uh, thursday we can see that my signal was to buy the euro USD, the pound USD right on this level and we can see it indeed made a small bounce but however it broke from this uh, previous support here it went all the way down to this support right here however what happened was uh, last Thursday was really phenomenal because there was unexpected news about a possible Brexit deal between Mr. Johnson and what was the guy name uh, Varadkar I think I think valid card maybe like that sorry if it's not correct however that made the pound to jump a huge uh, made a huge jump for about 480 pips now let me tell you something this bouncing here this jump here of the pound is only a reaction in my opinion and there will be a correction i don't think the pound will continue rising up after this uh, movement here yes it is strong but there will be some correction and we are aiming this correction let's check the daily candles so on daily candle we can see that the pound usd has actually reversed exactly right on this previous resistance right here that is on daily candles now what is the next move well it's really risky right now because the next movement is gonna be for the pound to actually go down a little bit to hit this previous support level right here and then i believe it's going to continue its bullish momentum uh, to hit this previous resistance right here so now the question is is the pound gonna continue now to, to to move up here to hit this resistance or it's gonna continue as bearish, bearish uh, reversal to hit this previous uh, support here we cannot tell actually this movement from the pound is unusual because it was due uh, to some uh, possible uh, brexit news with a deal and therefore we cannot really expect it expect what, what what will gonna happen i'm just giving you the plot of what is gonna going to happen we need to pay attention to the pound in my experience i can tell that the pound 
will actually go let uh, the, uh, the next candle on Monday opening I believe it will go up here to create a second attempt of this uh, resistance level before it actually start reversing down to hit here this previous support so let me tell you if the market Monday opening has reached this previous support uh, resistance level then please start selling the pound right on this level of let me just say so the pound USD is good for sell right on uh, 1.27048 that level should be actually good for selling the pound USD and expect expect the pair to go a little bit more up to hit this previous resistance also but in general on and on and all the pound USD is gonna reverse from this resistance and gonna continue to go more down and this uh, level of the support will be our target and it will be 1.25375 that should be our target for selling the pound so I again uh, the movement I'm expecting for the pound is gonna be like this somehow like that it's gonna fall down hit this previous support and then continue its bullish momentum again Please, uh, all these pound analysis is subjective for the Brexit news. Please be, be aware and be, stay tuned for any unexpected news that might happen and change the whole setup. My analysis here is purely technical only. So if there is any uh, unexpected news about Brexit or a deal or resignation or investigation with the, someone, please be aware to close your trade and pay attention always to news about Brexit. Uh, because it's really sensitive and the pound might actually make a huge jumps based on any news regarding Brexit. Uh, one second. Let's check now the AUDUSD. So for the AUDUSD, I have to mention something. I have mentioned for the last week that we can start buying on this level 0 0.67409 and we can see that the market has actually started to be ranged right on this level as I mentioned before it actually continued to go more up luckily for me that time I have mentioned what we will do about the stop loss I, I said to you guys that there is no stop loss level I mentioned at all you have to set your stop loss only if you see a complete bearish breakout candle from a support level that means that the market most likely will continue to go more down however that did not happen here if we look at this uh, trend here we don't see any single full complete bearish uh, breakout candle from any support we can see this candle here reversing from the support and then we can see this candle this is not a breakout candle this is not a breakout candle and eventually what happened is that the market went below the support level and reversed right on this previous uh, resistance which has become the new support meaning if you have placed by order on this level most likely you will set your stop loss let's say about 20 pips away right fair enough or even 24 pips most traders they set their stop loss like 20 or 30 pips away however if you do that you will actually wipe your account and that is what I'm trying to teach in this channel don't ever use a stop loss how many times I have said that really because setting a stop loss is never ever based on a price level it's all about the price action and how these candles looks it is actually what determine if you should close your trade with the loss or not we have to learn how to read the candles instead of blindly set the stop loss based on any price level so however however uh, what happened here is that the, the AUD USD uh, indeed if you place your buy order on the level I have mentioned you would have gained about 67 65 pips of profit it was really good because we can exit our trade when the market hit this previous resistance right here so anyway what is the next move well looking at the AUD USD we can see that uh, it broke this resistance but now the market closed on the next resistance right here so we can expect for the market to go a little bit down hitting this previous support level remember I'm on the daily candles so we can expect for the market to go down hitting this previous uh, resistance right here support right here, right here sorry and then we can start buying AUD USD and keep the level or the take profit exactly as mentioned for the last week so going to the four hour chart again we can actually keep this target 
and what I believe is uh, what we're seeing is the reversed head and shoulders for the AUD USD indicating that indeed the market will reverse from this resistance and we can start buying AUD USD right on this previous support here and then uh, keep our take profit exactly mentioned as last week so in other words we can start buying AUD USD let me just be accurate as much as possible so AUD USD good for buy on the level 0 0.67653 that is a big three but anyway uh, we can keep our trade going until it hit this previous resistance right here on 0 0.68270 I think I have to find a new way to write these numbers because that is so unprofessional <laughs> anyway uh, that is my signal for the AUD USD is gonna be good to buy from this level right here let's check now the USD CAD I believe USD CAD has moved exactly as I predicted last week uh, let me just please refer to my last week video before I continue my friend just give me one second I'll be back to you yeah exactly uh, I have mentioned on my last video for the previous weekly analysis that we can start buying the AUSD CAD on the level 1.32880 and we can see that the market has reversed exactly on the support level or sorry the previous resistance level to create the new support and it went up for hitting the nearest resistance for almost 57 pips uh, however, the problem here was the take profit because I mentioned that it will be on this resistance level But uh, sadly it just continued to go more down. However, if you really followed the hit and run rules Which uh, I am personally following that we need to exit our trade at the next nearest resistance So we had this resistance right here performed and you place your buy order here So if you see the, the candle reaching this previous resistance you can actually close your trade with the profit that could, should, uh, could have been about 60, approximately 6 pips of profit would be uh, would actually be good. Anyway, um, looking at the 4 hour chart, we can see that the AUD USD CAD uh, broken from this support level. And this was a huge move actually, to be honest with you. I don't remember the reason for it. I would like if someone can enlighten us here to explain it. But anyway, uh, let's see what will gonna happen. Um, I believe that AU, uh, the USD CAD has actually made this uh, unexpected move based on some news so I believe that there will be some correction or a retest level before it actually continuing its bullish, uh, bearish momentum looking at the USD CAD we can notice something here uh, that we had here a strong resistance zone which has never been able to be broken out for a really long time we're talking more than, more than three months away three months is, uh, long so what is the next move here let's say something here uh usd cat definitely is going to continue to reverse more down now the question is where should i actually start selling the usd cad what i'm seeing here that the usd cad has reversed on this previous support so we had here support number one and now the usd cad is reversing on a support number two now the question is where should i place sell uh, let's check the daily candles first before we judge anything so on the daily candles you have to look for the strongest key resistance levels even you have to look far at the left for example I'm seeing here that I have a strong key resistance level and I need to adjust my line to it like that and let's compare uh, the chart to after what happened after uh, or actually on this resistance level so we had here this resistance level which was really a strong level and we can see that here it was a support and here it was a resistance and here as well it kept its position as a resistance then also kept its position as a support and again as a support so my next prediction is gonna be for the USD CAD to actually make a small bounce hitting this previous uh, support which was also by the way a previous resistance right here so this level one point uh, let me know before that let's uh, check the four hour chart and I believe that is actually legit yes we can expect uh, for the USD CAD to start falling on this resistance level and gonna it's gonna continue falling down I believe 
I don't want to extend my expectations. I will set my take my take profit to be the exactly same current price level of the uh, USD CAD on this support level here. So we are talking about almost 47 pips of profit. Um, it's actually kind of tricky. Let me just be more accurate, my friends. Um, it's really hard to predict how the USD CAD is going to move after hitting this previous resistance. I think, just give me one second, I need to do some, some analysis. Just one second. So seeing the weekly candles, we can tell definitely that the market has reversed from this resistance, which was also a strong resistance in the past right here. So however, this level I have mentioned, look at how strong it was as a resistance in the past and also it was a strong support level. Meaning this level is strong here and we're going to expect for the USD CAD. Yes, now I'm sure with the, my, about my signal. Uh, USD CAD is going to reverse on the level. Oh, I mean, hopefully it's going to reverse. Uh, we can start selling and it's going to reverse on 1.3268. That should be actually a good signal or good level to start selling the USD CAD. And actually I'm expecting it to go down all the way to hit this previous support level on the daily candles. But anyway, I want it to be safe always. So I will just increase my take, my take profit to be this next support level. So we have here a support number one, and I believe the USD CAD is gonna move like that to hit this previous support to create a support number two, and the target will be 1.31137. So that should be uh, good for the USD CAD, I think. I don't think it's going to go up at this point, to be honest with you. I think it's very hard and the USD CAD should continue its bullish, uh, its bearish momentum to hit this previous support on this level here. Let's go to the USD GPY. My signal for the USD GPY was very accurate on the point exactly. Uh, I said to mention, uh, I mentioned to, to start buying the USD GPY on 106.757 and exit your trade at 108.594. That is exactly what happened. Literally, the market moved like that, uh, getting approximately 190 pips uh, of, of profit. So what is the next move now? Now what I'm thinking is, for the USD GPY, it's going to continue its bullish momentum after reversing for three times on this resistance. So if we see the USD GPY reversing on this resistance, we can start actually buying the USD GPY right on this level i believe this will be good to start buying the usd gpy on 107.612 107.612 is uh, gonna be good level to start buying the usd gpy uh, because uh, this was a strong support in the past and here as well and here it is the nearest support to this breakout candle because here we had a small resistance which has been breaking out this is a resistance zone has been breaking out and i'm expecting after reversing on this resistance for the usd gpy to go down a little bit to retesting this previous support before it actually continuing to go more up now the question is where should i set my take profit it's gonna be safe to set your take profit actually on this previous resistance right here Remember also on the USD GPY, we can notice here a head and shoulders uh, pattern appeared. So definitely, yes, it's going to continue uh, its bullish momentum. And frankly speaking, after seeing this uh, support here and the support here and the USD GPY bouncing on the support, there is a highly chance for the USD GPY to continue immediately the bullish momentum without any retest on this previous level. We have to be uh, uh, careful. Just expect it to go down down a little bit for about 78 pips before we can start buying it. Otherwise, you can start buying the USD GPY immediately if you are in rush. But you have to expect it to go down and against you before the reversal and to give you profit. Let's check the USD CHF. So the USD CHF right now is still bouncing on this resistance. It's still struggling. It's not able to break from this resistance. So we can see that the market closed uh, last Friday as a small pin bar here. Now, um, I'm almost sure that the next movement is going to be a bearish reversal for the UCCHF and it's going to be happening actually immediately. 
we can expect it to happen immediately and reversing right down uh, to this uh, support level and I'm expecting actually for the market to break down from this support level and bounce on this previous support right here because we have so many attempts and every time we can see the reverse you know what I mean like it's always gonna be strong and seeing this price action right here indicating that the market indeed not able to break from this resistance so USDCHF is actually good to start selling immediately I believe we can start selling it at the Monday opening and keep your position going until it hit the, sub, uh, the previous support on let me just be sure how many pips is that yeah almost 64 pips um, we can start selling the USDCHF immediately and the take profit will be this support level on 0 0.98995 hopefully we will get them all now let's uh, let's talk about the gold because the gold it's actually not moving as predicted because it's really hard to analyze the gold however this is the daily candles we are seeing right now uh, let's go to the four hour chart and what we can see from the gold is it's make a small bouncing on this resist uh, support here and we had also here a strong support and right now the market is on this support so we have here support number one and the market created a support number two reversing right on this support here now what is the next move I believe that the gold is going to continue its bullish momentum until it hit this previous resistance and then we can actually start selling gold but not for quite long time just keep it running until it hit this previous support right here I want everyone to be safe so let me just adjust uh, the signal uh, gold should be good to start selling right on this point here and take profit right on this point here so gold sell on 1496 and take profit on 1488 that is about 73 pips I just want everyone to be safe that's why gold is actually better to be scalped because we cannot uh, expect it for the long term since uh, it's ranging on this resistance for a really long time and to be honest uh, these weeks here indicating some strong pressure from the buyers that's why I don't want to keep this thread running for a long time because we can expect for the gold in general or in uh, overall what is the, I'm expecting for the gold is to move like this it will go to hit this resistance bouncing on this support and then continue to go more up so if you want to if you must enter something for the gold it will be smartest thing to to wait for the right time to start buying the gold on 1488 but however that might take actually long time I think we can just uh, uh, for faster results we can start selling it at this resistance getting the bounce the, the sorry the pullback and we can just uh, secure the profit like that however um, that is my scalping uh, signal for the gold but if you are looking for longer term one we can start buying the gold immediately I don't see the gold is going down at all in general in general it's going down but my signal is only for scalping the gold that's it I'm not telling you to sell go the gold for long term I'm just telling you that we can scalp it until it had this previous support and then close the trade with the profit but if you must enter something you can start buying the gold immediately because actually this level 1488 is very strong as a support and this price action here indicating that the market is actually continue to go more up but um, it's up to you if you want to enter the gold with the sell or buy both of them actually seems to be gonna, uh, gonna work so however uh, I really hope this will be a profitable and good week for everyone and until then I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching